thank you everyone for coming and thank everyone for watching this in uh, this Q&A with uh, Jessica, the uh, director for Last Call at the Oasis, thank which let me just say, wow. I was certainly aware of uh, drought being a regular part of California life. Right. Uh, we had the bucket in the shower and everything. So taking on this project, I knew in the back of my mind that if participant media had water as one of their major issues, that whatever was happening was probably <laughs> going to be pretty uh, dire. Right. But um, it was a constantly eye-opening experience to research this topic, of explaining things through stories, through characters of people who are really on the front lines of wrestling with these issues that right. we're all going to wrestle with in exactly. one way or another if we're not already. And to try to um, make it visceral. You know how like we all think that we're logical. <laughs> right. We all think that we, we, you know, given the facts, we'll make decisions. The problem we'll make is the correct you, decision. But if you just give people <laughs> the facts, we don't even pay attention, right? right? You know, you have to make people see like, oh my God, you know, look what that's happening to her farm. And the, you know, she can't even touch that water. And right. then we start to see that it's not an abstraction. I, what I wanted to do was show how much progress we can make because most of us were just not doing anything about any of this. So yeah. the potential for improvement is vast. Uh, I was intrigued by the whole psychological side of all these issues because right. none of them are really new. It's just, it makes you wonder like, what is the resistance to doing things that would actually help our situation? He called it a feel angry movie. <laughs> and I, I was like, okay, that's good. You know, cause at least it was focused on like the emotion the and emotion. not like a, you know, chin stroking kind of film, but right. but I think that that's good because I think it speaks to the idea of wanting, feeling motivated rather than like, oh, you know. Than disillusion. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but when you go and you talk to a lot of scientists and they start saying things like, we were shocked. That's not a good thing right. to, to, to hear when somebody is measuring the usage of a fundamental resource like water. So it was kind of funny because like I said, we were looking for characters and stories and we kept on thinking like, we kind of need someone who's like an Aaron Brockovich, you know? <laughs> There's gotta be someone out there who's like the Aaron Brockovich, but- Of the then, water. Like, right, right, and then we're like, wait a minute, we should just look for what's, you know, for Aaron Brockovich. The problem though is that if we don't deal with things now, it's gonna be more and more painful. As, as time goes time on, on. I, the minute, you know, green water is in the White House. Is that when we all wake up and yeah. deal with it? Yeah, no, that's a really good question because, okay, I'll tell you my fantasy was that, um, you know, if I were king, I would turn off everyone's water for just like five minutes once a week. Just for five minutes, you, you don't get any water. And just to put that idea in people's minds, because in some way it's a failure of imagination. We can't imagine a time when we couldn't have all the water we wanted. They're the only organization that combines, um, you know, Israelis, Palestinians, and Jordanians on anything, and it's water. And it's water. And it's the Middle East. And you'd think, you know, it's just so counterintuitive. Right. But um, one of the guys that we talked to in getting in touch with that group said, oh, I'll take the Middle East over California any day. <laughs> 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 yeah. Like, I think our goal needs to be um, progress and slowing down this this drive to use up everything. So right. I think it's, it's more of a slowing down, and that's more accessible to people. And I feel like people, um, feel that they can participate in that. Give a summary of the whole experience. What do you want people to take away from all of this and go home with? I guess it's the idea that um, that the water situation touches everything and that means that there's so many ways that you can help. Right. And I think help, it's not like helping some instructors, it's helping our, ourselves. There is no silver bullet, think silver buckshot. I just love that idea. <laughs> you know, the idea that there's not one thing, you've got to think in in a much more um, you know multifaceted way right last call at the oasis Thank you. if you haven't seen it please I, I just I don't know how else to say <laughs> that please go see it and thank you so much for sitting and taking the time to talk to us oh my pleasure <laughs> thanks so much it was fun thank you